We have become exceptionally good at building things. We engineer structures that defy gravity, machines that push the very limits of speed and altitude, and systems of such microscopic precision that they seem to border on magic. These are triumphs of traditional engineering, built on a foundation of deterministic physics and predictable logic. We can calculate stress loads, model airflow, and etch circuits with near-perfect reliability. We build on bedrock. And yet, when we turn this engineering mindset to our most ambitious new technology, artificial intelligence, a strange paradox emerges. Despite attracting immense talent and investment, a staggering number of AI projects fail. You've likely heard the figure, cited in reports from VentureBeat and other industry analysts, that as many as 87% of data science projects never make it into production. While the exact number is debated, other studies from Gartner suggest figures closer to 53%, the trend is undeniable. A vast gap exists between a promising prototype and a reliable production-grade AI system. Why does a discipline filled with some of the brightest minds on the planet struggle so profoundly to turn proofs of concept into production systems? The answer isn't a lack of talent or computational power, it's a failure of analogy. We are trying to build with blueprints designed for bedrock on a foundation of shifting sand. To understand this failure, we first need to appreciate the world where our old analogies worked perfectly. This is the world of traditional software, what former Tesla AI director Andre Karpathy calls software 1.0. This is the classical stack, code written by humans in languages like C++, Java, or Python. It is a world of explicit instructions. In this world, the analogy of building a house holds. The requirements document is the architect's blueprint. The programming languages and libraries are the building materials. The steel and concrete, whose properties are known and stable. The underlying logic is the bedrock, fixed and unchanging. A programmer's job is to follow the blueprint, assembling these known materials into a finished structure. Deployment is like the ribbon cutting ceremony. The application is finished. It then enters a maintenance phase where bugs are fixed and features are added, but the core foundation remains the same. The system's behavior is a direct and predictable consequence of the code written by its human creators. This paradigm built the modern digital world. From operating systems to the web browser you're using right now. It is powerful, reliable, and deeply intuitive. But it is not how modern AI is built. A new paradigm has emerged, one that Carpathy terms software 2.0. In this new world, we don't write explicit logic. Instead, we specify a goal, like correctly identifying cats in photos, and we curate a massive data set of examples. We then use optimization to search for a program, a neural network, that achieves this goal. The source code is no longer lines of Python. It, and here, our building analogy, catastrophically fails. Because in a software 2.0 system, the foundation is no longer bedrock. It is data. And real-world data is not static. It is shifting sand. The moment you put a model in production, it begins to degrade. This phenomenon is called the building materials are no longer steel. They are probabilities. And worse, the objective itself can move. The very definition of what you are trying to predict can change after you've deployed your system. This is called concept drift. For example, a model built to detect a specific type of online fraud becomes less effective as criminals change their tactics. The model is a perfectly engineered bridge to a destination that no longer exists. This shifting sand is not just a useful metaphor. It is the source of immense, often hidden, technical debt. In 2015, a team at Google published a landmark paper that gave a name to this problem. Hidden technical debt in machine learning systems. They argued that it's dangerously easy to build a quick prototype, but that this creates massive ongoing maintenance costs down the line. At the core of this debt is a principle the authors called CASE. Changing anything changes everything. In traditional software, components are designed to be isolated. In an ML system, everything is entangled. Improving a data cleaning step can change the distribution of a feature. That in turn 
can change the importance of the Google paper presented a now famous diagram that perfectly illustrates this reality. In a real world ML system, the machine learning code itself is the smallest part. The vast majority of the system is a complex scaffolding of infrastructure built to manage the sand. This includes code for data collection, feature extraction, data verification, machine resource management, analysis tools, serving infrastructure, and crucially, monitoring. This reality gave rise to a new engineering discipline, MLOps. If traditional DevOps is concerned with managing the life cycle of code, MLOps is about managing the three intertwined life cycles of code, models, and data. It is the engineering discipline of building systems for a world of shifting sand. So what happens when business leaders, project managers, and even engineers operate with the wrong mental model? What happens when you budget for a house, but you're actually building a self-repairing biosphere? The results are predictable. Underestimated costs, unrealistic timelines, and silent failures. The cost of maintenance and the infrastructure to monitor and retrain models is consistently overlooked. AI is not treated as a one-off project to be completed, but a living system that requires constant care and feeding without the right infrastructure. A model's performance can degrade silently in production. The system appears to be working, but it's making progressively worse decisions, quietly eroding business value or introducing bias. It fails without a crash report. A mature MLOps capability turns this silent failure into a managed process. Monitoring detects the performance drift, triggering an alert. This alert can automatically kick off a retraining pipeline using new relevant data to produce an updated model. The system heals itself. The process is no longer a project with an end date, but a continuous automated loop of improvement. We began with a paradox, the steadfast reliability of traditional engineering versus the perceived fragility of AI. We saw how our trusted building analogy, so perfect for the deterministic world of software 1.0, crumbles in the probabilistic data-driven world of software 2.0. The foundation isn't stable, the target moves. The materials themselves are in flux. The lesson is not that AI is hopelessly flawed. The lesson is that we must use the right mental model and the right engineering discipline. The role of the modern AI engineer is not to pretend the sand is bedrock. It is to become an expert in building adaptive systems for the sand. Building on sand is not impossible. It simply requires a different kind of engineering, one that embraces change, anticipates drift, and designs for adaptation from day one. As the world changes, the system must change with it. It requires not just artificial intelligence, but engineering intelligence.